it's official. We're halfway through our first week of special programming. And one of the great blessings of being part of the Crossroads family is that I get to hear all kinds of stuff that never makes it to air. Yeah, you're blessed to hear our guests and you get to get some great teaching and you hear some amazing testimonies. But I get to hear about the over 1,200 calls that come into the studio every single day. People are finding Christ, they're receiving encouragement, they receive a heartfelt prayer, and it is truly a beautiful thing. You know, and each day as I'm getting ready to leave the building, I'm handed a stack of about a hundred of these responses that you sent in, telling us why you watch 100 Huntley Street. And each night I sit on my bed and I read through every single one of these, and every night my heart is just filled with gratitude because I know that I'm part of something bigger than just myself knowing that I'm just one of the vessels here that God chooses to work through, and it's a humbling and rewarding experience. Let me share with you just a few examples of some of the testimonies that I read last night. The first one here says that uh, God's Word and your encouraging message brings such a blessing to me. Another one here says, it feels like I'm with special friends. I like that. Having face-to-face -face conversations, I absolutely love 100 Huntley Street. You are my lifeline. What an encouraging word. And this one really, really hit me. It says, when I needed prayer at night, the Crossroads prayer line was there for me. I tried other prayer lines, but none were available at night. Thank you for being there for me. You know, I want to read something to you from 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 24. It says this, who will listen to what you say? The share of the man who stayed with the supplies is to be the same as that of him who went down to the battle. All will share alike. You know, you may not be called to, to be here on daily television, or you may not feel called to travel around the world as a full-time preacher or in ministry, but according to what we just read, all those who share in the supplies, meaning you give the soldiers what they need to fight the battle, you share in the spoils of victory as well. When you pick up the phone and you call the toll-free number to make a gift, and then we use that gift to preach the gospel, to pray for the sick, to encourage believers, or to participate in missions around the world, that means that you're a part of it too. Friends, we can only do what we do because of what you do. So thank you so very much for partnering with us and bringing the light of the gospel to an ever-increasing, darkening world. Guys, may the Lord bless you greatly.